a really big rooster. Yeah, look at his. Another, yeah. The, we get 4-H checks, so it says to be female. They are Easter eggers, and we did when we were trying some of these techniques out. One of them seemed to be a root. First thing you can do with a one day old chick is something called vent sexing. You check the vent, which Brooke will just go ahead and show you where the vent is. There it is. Right down there. And you kind of like will push it out, and what happens yeah. is there's this little white bubble bubble thing. thing and when I say little I mean minuscule like teeny tiny that pops out YouTube that and how to do that it's extremely hard extremely difficult and honestly we haven't really figured out how to do it <laughs> take the feathers and you kind of fan them out and um, if they're all the same size that means they're a rooster and if it's almost like staggered up and down feathers and they're different sizes that means it's in head so these are the primary flights and these are the secondary flight feathers and um, those are the ones you're going to be looking at right here when they're younger and that's because hens grow faster than the roosters little booty that's that's the tail feathers when you look at the tail one week old and we're at two weeks old here the female tails will be out right yeah. and the the male male tail feathers are completely gone so you can also look at the behavior of the chicks right now they're scared because the lights turned off and when i say aggressive i just mean more aggressive than the other chicks a lot of people say that this technique worked for them and it was it's not fail proof because you have to be good at doing the technique so what you do is you hold the chick you feel for like almost their jaw bone right here kind of and you're just gonna let your fingers sit on their jaw right there so this is this is a hen when I put it here and I pick it up she squirms around and she tries to get out and she moves her feet. Um, what a rooster will do will, when you do it like this, they just kind of... <laughs> they kind of dangle. <laughs> they kind of dangle. Um, That's funny. Like I said, <laughs> if you're not good at it like me, it's not fail proof. Apparently you can it. Yeah. Yeah, from some behind. people do it from behind and she doesn't like that. <laughs> She's already I like. Idea. Yeah, that's just saying. Okay, let's try another one. And this isn't hurting the chick because you're grabbing like under their jaw, so that's all they're gonna feel. It's like, it's like it's almost like you're picking them up by the bone. Ooh. Um, you're next. Ooh, that one's bigger. Feisty, too. Mm, I, I expect him to dangle. Mm. What was that? It was like... <laughs> it's like, I want to move, but not really. Oh, no. <laughs> I think we have a room. <laughs> and that one is a whole lot bigger. Yeah. Look at his feet compared to the other one. That's another way to See, do it. See, what was that about? Like... He just wiggles his head. Actually, this one, the one that we thought was a roo, has longer tail feathers mm -hmm. than that one. Ooh. Oh, did you see that? Mm -mm. Oh, that you started like pecking at them. Aggressive behavior. <laughs> Look at how defined the comb and the waddle is. You're also going to be looking at the color. The comb is right up here above the waddle, the thing that goes up like this. Mm -hmm. And then you're also going to be looking at the waddle. I'll really look for the color, and especially if you have a bunch of chicks that came out of the same, you know, hatched around the same time, you can compare the two and see which ones have the really red compared to um, more of a paler color and kind of almost yellowy looking on the comb and the waddles. Pretty colors. Mm -hmm. The hackle feathers the are feathers. usually very pointed. Um, most of the time they're shinier and they have more of a greenish tint to them. You, yeah, there's some green on him right here. And what comb did you say this is? 
the way it was made. Okay. Um, another thing is if you have other hens in your flock, that's a very easy way to figure out. They just they mount. Yep. Yep. Uh, saddle feathers. They're very similar to the hackle feathers. And, then, and the tail, it's a fountain, fountain like. That's what? <laughs> <laughs> Feet are absolutely huge. It's a lot bigger. Yeah. Than a hen. Usually they're, just they're ginormous. Their legs are pretty big too. And then spurs. Spurs. Because typically quick. a hen, their spur only like gets that big at the most. So you can tell that this is. And vocally, what do they do? They crow. <laughs> that's that's the easiest way. That one's an older one. It's kind of easy to figure out him, but it's it's harder when you have pullets.